I just wanted to give you a little bit more of a tour of the garden because earlier there was a work party and there were a lot of people in here so I couldn't really give a good tour but you can see all these beds nasturtium lettuce this is cauliflower it's kind of I think cool season plants that they're planting although they do have tomatoes in here as well and this is a peach tree that's in blossom right now you can see um, there's broccoli and there's different kinds of kale that they're planting but they've got tomatoes there and they've got tomato fruit on them they just planted some beds of beans they've been expanding this garden and these in intercropping the in between these beds that are more established they just set those new beds up but they're really going nuts with with planting and this they just had that garden work party today and they expanded all these beds got some stuff planted in here i think this is zucchini and looks like marigolds and zinnias and then over here is bananas <laughs> a whole stand of banana trees and there's papyrus in there that's what they've got in this little so I don't know if it's a rain garden it's not necessarily really a rain garden but it's some kind of a little pond feature in the garden they've got hot peppers here more nasturtium but one thing to note is like how incredibly disease free everything is here and bug free they don't seem to have any problems with bugs that I can tell and all of these all these plants are just like fully perfect you know like this in our area in the summer would just be riddled with flea beetle holes the kale lacinato kale and just they don't have they don't have cabbage loopers this is a brussels sprouts they're planting brussels sprouts in florida i don't know how how that's going to do um more cauliflower and some turnips i think yeah some of these are turnips and they're planting some zinnias just for flower they've got these ones that are older and blooming and the marigolds but they just planted a whole new bed of zinnias um, just amazing what they do here so quinoa seems to look exactly like lamb's quarters i'm curious to see what it'll look like later in its life cycle we'll just go over here and show you these papaya trees you can get a whole shot of the garden here. You can see there's a couple beech trees and papaya. They're loaded with fruit in there. Unripe, some of them. Some of them are getting ripe, like these ones at the bottom are always the ripest. More nasturtium. Nasturtium obviously loves it. Papaya has separate male and female plants, so this is a male pollinator. I wonder if they smell good. Yeah, they do smell good. They smell really good. More papayas. These fell over, as you can see, because they were just in soft ground, I guess, and they were laden with fruit. So they just eventually fell over. This one's obviously bigger. There's a bed of carrots that I saw somebody was thinning today. Carrots are doing well. They're pretty small still. Swiss chard. They've got some greens that uh, that I haven't seen before. There's one over there that kind of has a, um, what, an oxalis kind of a flavor, like sour or tart. And these are head cabbages, supposedly over here. And there's the permaculture section that I already showed you over there. We can walk over here now. Oh, they've got more moringa. Hey! And over here they've got a garden shed, a couple garden sheds. And let's see. Now they said this was aloe. And little nursery area over here. They've got fennel and what else is here? Oh yeah, they planted artichokes, or cardoons, I guess these are. Some more tomatoes, zinnias, different kinds of brassicas, dinosaur kale, more kale, 
going. They've got a little nursery area for fruit trees. Some avocados, I think. Things like that, pineapples, obviously. So these are the chickies. These were here before as well with the Faith House, the halfway house that was here before the Ego Village was. And so these are laying hens. And uh, we've got some bunnies, the little bunnies. These ones are just for manure and for cuteness, I guess. And they have a well set up for water here, so they get their water from underground. I'm sure they'll be setting up some water catchment eventually, and they don't really have, like, they've just gotten started, so they don't have the resources to really put into being off-grid or getting solar panels and stuff like that, but that's in the future. You can see how beautiful the place looks. You can go ahead and go through it, that's all right. <laughs> They've got, this is a um, solar dehydrator that they use for drying moringa. And they, I was saying earlier that they grow that moringa and it's like a superfood or something. We got all these compost bins. We've been bringing our compost over from the boat and dumping our compost in these bins and they've got worms in there to break them down too. And there's this uh, passion flower vine growing over here up against this fence. It's kind of cool how it just grows everywhere. And then it's got some fruit on it. But apparently the squirrels always get the fruit, so it's unfortunate. That's the only pest I guess they have. You can see one through the fence there, a fruit. And this is a vermicomposter that, uh, apparently this woman that just came, it belongs to her, but for breaking down compost and making worm castings. Apparently they're getting access to like two additional acres that are just down the street that are kind of like just an unused space that's not really a park. Um, and they're going to be hopefully taking that over and turning it into more gardens and growing for a CSA. The idea with the garden is to expand their production Then they're going to have a farm stand here at least a couple of times a week to sell the produce over by that gate where uh, the Eco Village sign is so they can make money. And it's another benefit of having uh, so many people close by. So you can just set up a market on your, on your own land and sell stuff. Don't forget to share and give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Tell your friends about it. And from sunny Florida, I'll see you next time.